This week on Digging Deeper, we're talking about onions, the dirty crop. Before we go there, I want to let you know that I'm giving right now a free workshop on how to troubleshoot mid-season problems on the farm. What can you do about it when you're already in the big poo-poo? That happens every year to every grower all the time, but there's there's things that you can do about it. It's a three-part workshop. Uh, the first thing that we'll look into is how to troubleshoot uh, energy, how to have more energy, how to deal with stress, anxiety, how to cope with the overload of work. What are the strategies that you can do about that? I have a few tips and advice to give you there. We'll also be talking about weed prevention and weed control. What can you do about weeds when you've lost the control of them? And we'll look at certain crops, crop problems that are very common to most farms. So check it out. All the information is on the link below. And let's just jump with digging deeper. So onions. Onions is definitely one crop that is hard to keep clean in the fields. And the reason is really simple. Uh, onions, contrary to a lot of other crops, won't form a canopy when they're at maturity. Like most of the uh, vegetables that we grow in the market garden, uh, using the biointensive systems and principles, you know, they're really tight with one another. And at one point, usually most crops around, you know, three quarter of their growth, the leaves of the crops touch one another and then it creates a canopy that shades out the weed. But onions, it just doesn't happen. And so that's your pretty typical situation where you have the weeds coming in and like in any cases where you're trying to deal with the weeds, the trick is to use the right hoe at the right time. The right time is usually really early on before weeds become a problem. So this would be the latest that we want to do it. And then just come, coming with a hoe, you know, that's going to be enough to do the job. So this is a, this is one of my favorite hoe. It's a Growers & Co's uh, wire weeder and it's open at the end so that it can, it can let the plant uh, go, but you can really, you can really push it. And so that's one strategy. Uh, flame weeding is another strategy that we do at a different stage later on with the onions. We can come, we can come with a torch and, and really give, the, give it to them. Uh, this needs to be done exactly at one specific moment for the onions. Uh, you can't do that at any, uh, at any, any given time, uh, but that's another strategy. And one of the best ones that we use and rely a lot on is landscape fabric. Landscape fabric with onions uh, really does the trick. And it's a lot of work to set those landscape fabric out, to burn the holes and to make it all work out. Once you've established your onions in this kind of layout, man, you're on your way to success and it saves you a lot of time. So this is it for this week, onions. They're hard to keep clean, but it's important. Actually, keeping the whole garden clean is a big part of our job. And if you want to learn more about it, I'm actually giving a free workshop now about how to handle blocks and fields that are overtaken with weeds. So check it out. All the information is on the link below. Besides that, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that the weeds are not taking over your farm. And I hope you're doing okay. I am. I'll see you next week. JM out.